Why, hello, Virtual English 2 students. Uh, for the rest of this week, we're going to be reading Isle by Eugene O'Neill. Uh, there are two assignments that will be associated with this. The first one is I want you to take 20 annotations, 20 notes over Isle by Eugene O'Neill. What are annotations, you might ask? Well, I have the annotations guide right up here to talk to you about that. So basically, annotations are notes. Uh, I, uh, I am a big practitioner of it and I'm a big preacher of it because the purpose behind us reading is to build meaning or to gain understanding. And the way we do that is through annotating. If we don't annotate, if we don't take notes down, these thoughts that we have are ephemeral and will float away and disappear forever. But if we annotate, we grab those thoughts and put them down on, the, on paper, we can go back and revisit them to help us understand what is going on. Now, Good readers do this naturally, but it is a benefit to actually uh, take uh, take your time and get down uh, because that, you can revisit it. Like I said, thoughts are ephemeral. I practice this here. Sorry about that, but here right here is a uh, book that I had to read from a master's class and in it. I have annotated it. All these highlighted marks are annotations. I have things written out to the side that are annotations. Uh, they also, each highlight had a corresponding note in a paper notebook that I no longer have that also were, was an annotation. So just annotations are thoughts, notes that you need, that you think are important as you interact with a text. So at the end of each page, I want you to do one of the following. Now, uh, it says end of each page, but you can, I'm wanting you to do 20 of these. There's not 20 pages. Just you're going to come up with 20 of these particular things. Uh, just a rule of thumb would be a page, but as soon as one pops into your head, you need to do that. So these things are like make a prediction. What do you think is going to happen next? Ask a question, clarify a misunderstanding, make a comment, and make a connection. Now, here's the thing. If you ask a question, you find the answer, you need to write down the answer. The answer would be a, uh, an annotation. In fact, clarifying a misunderstanding, that's the answer to the question that you had uh, earlier. Uh, on the second page of this is some stem starters in case you need help starting it. Most people just are good putting down notes, just things that pop into your that's perfectly fine, that will work. Now, these annotations will help you with the other assignment that will be due over the weekend. So we'll be reading the play. In fact, we read the play. We got about three pages into the pay, play. My copy is over there on my podium, so I can't tell you exactly how far we got. But we read half of the play today. We're going to finish the play tomorrow. And then Friday, I'm going to have a – we're going to watch the play while, they, while the face-to-face -face students work on this particular assignment. This particular assignment is – that's the word battle. That's not the assignment – uh, let me go back over here and stop sharing. And I need to share with y'all this right here. Yes. Sorry about this. I know this is like it. What kind type of amateur tomfoolery is all of this? All you virtual kids are like, I've just come to expect it. All right. So the first assignment is the annotations. You need 20 of those. The second assignment is this. Uh, after reading uh, Isle by Eugene O'Neill, compose an at, le an at least two word piece analog and act play. While writing, consider the following questions. What is the main idea expressed by the play? What can you point to from the play that supports this being the main idea? Uh, who in this world uh, would benefit paying attention to the idea in this play is trying to develop and why would they benefit? So you're gonna write a 200 piece that explains all that. Your annotations would answer this question right here curious your annotations help you with this right here those are, these are questions to keep in mind as you interact with the play because eventually you'll have to write a 250 word piece that uh wraps around that so that is the plan 20 annotations that's what we're doing wednesday tomorrow thursday friday uh we're the face-to-face -face kids will be watching the play and right working on that particular prompt right there uh i am going to on the on each of these give you a link to the actually play the actual play being performed i'm going to give you a because here's here's the pdf the pdf will be uploaded uh PDF will be uploaded. In fact, here's what the PDF looks like. The PDF is not the greatest quality because I had to shrink it in order to make it not a 20 gigabyte, 20 megabyte file. But here's what the PDF looks like. Uh, I'm also going to link for you a, uh, a the actual play since it is in the public domain. Uh, it is actually going to be right here. This right here. I'll link this and I'm also going to put the actual performance of the play on uh, 
linked. Uh, I would like you to read the play as the performance is going on if you'd like to do it that way, because you do need to interact with actual words and text in, a, in order to build up your reading skills and whatnot. But those are the two assignments. They are due. Uh, the annotations will be due on Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday, Friday, and then the uh, 250 word analysis thing will be due on Sunday. All right, that's all I got for you. Uh, if you have any questions, email me, pdavidson at portageville.k12.mo.us. And sorry about the bits of this video. I need to get my stuff together a little bit more effectively. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.